Hey everyone, so this is Eyeshadow 101. I know that the title says it's uh, for mature eyes, and it is, but it can be used by anybody. The technique, obviously, once you learn it, you can use it on any age. But I just tend to, this tends to be more prevalent sometimes for slightly older people over sort of maybe 30 because we don't necessarily want that kind of stark bright colors as much as some of the younger people. Um, I hope that you will learn something from this. The technique that you're about to see and the techniques, um, I've probably shown them before in videos, but this is how I teach eyeshadow. If you came with me and sat down, then this would be the technique that you would you would learn. And it's basically contouring. And I just think that it's, it's a really beautiful way of doing your eyes and it really draws attention to them. So I hope you like it and I hope you learn something. And I'll um, see you in a minute. Take care. Hey everyone, so I'm going to take Falouf eyeshadow and a MAC lay down brush and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. Now because this is a shimmer shade, I'm applying it just to the eyelid from the inner corner to the outer corner and I'll go slightly into the crease. You can also use a matte shade. If you're going to use a matte shade, you can apply it from the, well basically all over the eyelid right the way up to the brow bone. But when using a shimmer like this, you really don't want to apply it all the way up to the eye because that will just look really tacky and just draw too much texture, uh, uh, too much attention to textural flaws and things like that, which you don't really want. And even though this is quite a strong shade, by the end of the tutorial it won't look that way and this is a great shade if you've got very close set eyes because this will open them up. <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to do is take a pencil brush and I'm also going to use the same color just on the lower part of the eye right by the tear duct and this again will open up the eyes and is especially great for hooded eyes and also for really close set eyes. <clears throat> Next I'm going to take Malt Eyeshadow and a 226 brush. Now this is your mid-tone colour. Now I'm going to start on the inner corner of my eye, kind of by the, the nose bone. And in back and forth windshield wiper motions, I'm going to go over my crease area, slightly just above it, but it's up to you where you go. And this is going to create dimension and depth to the eye, as you'll see in a second. It really opens up the eye and alters the shape of it and this is basically contouring and you're creating depth and I think it's just a really good way of doing eye makeup. You can see that suddenly the eye looks more open because we're adding dark and light to this. And again, feel free to layer your mid-tone colors, go back and forth, create the kind of depth that you want. Your mid-tone color though should almost always be a matte shade because it should be an extension of your skin tone, one or two shades darker. Okie dokie. Now I'm also going to run that mid-tone color underneath my lower lash line till it meets the shimmer. And this is really important because if you've applied foundation and concealer before you did your eye makeup, sometimes when we use concealer we bring it up right the way to the lower lash line and that can close the eye in and make it look smaller. So we need to balance that out by putting in a slightly darker color. So the mid-tone color must definitely go under the lower lash line. Next we're using Embark and the same lay down brush that I use the shimmer color on. And we are now going to apply that to the outside edge of our eyelid. Now depending on your eye shape, if you've got wide set eyes or hooded eyes, you can bring this contour color from the outside edge of the eye around about halfway in. Now I'm going to keep it to the outside third. If you've got very close set eyes or you've got very deep set eyes, then you want to use a slightly smaller brush and really, really keep it to the very outside corner of the eye. If you bring it in too far in, you're going to close your eyes in and make them look even more close set, which you don't want to do. So keep them, keep the color to the very outside corner. But if you've got hooded eyes or wide set eyes, you can bring this darker color halfway in and that's perfectly fine. And that will cover the hooded area. Next I'm actually going to take the same blending brush, the 226, and I'm going to very softly start to diffuse this color so that it's not that hard line you see right here. <coughs> and it's just a back and forth motion, circular motions, however you want to do it. Just very lightly blend it in. And when you get to the top as I'm here, make sure that it joins that mid-tone color slightly so there's a graduation of colors. 
there's no hard edges. Again, you want to layer your contour color because you want this to last. So just pressing it in and the color should come up just, just past the crease, only a tiny bit past the crease. So don't go too mad and bring it right the way up to the eyebrow. Again, we're going to just blend this out. And you're seeing now that it's also changing the shade of that falloof that we put on earlier, which was very stark and bright, and now it's not quite as intense. And believe me, the falloof will look amazing on all eye shapes, but particularly hooded eyes, because it'll be the very inner corners that you see glistening away, where the rest will be dark and contoured. It'll look beautiful. So don't be afraid of colors like this. Okay, next we're going to take that same shade in bark and we're going to use our pencil brush. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to line our lower lash line with that color and we're going to take it kind of around about just past halfway because we want all the colors in this look to graduate from dark to light as they go in and all the colors should match and blend in nicely with each other. So take it slowly you be the judge of how much you want, how dark and stark you want the look, but I think everything should match. Alrighty. Now, gel eyeliner and a small eyeliner brush. I'm going to pull my eyebrow up and I'm going to line my upper lash line by the waterline. This technique is very, very important if you've got hooded eyes that are acquired through age, because if we line on the top line, you're not going to see it. All you're going to see is a black line that's going to look like you've got black eyeshadow on because your eye is already hooded. It's already coming down. So you're just going to have a black line. So if you have that problem, then line under your waterline and it's going to give you the impression of a lined eyes, but very, very subtly, as you'll see. See, the lash line is just slightly darker now than the other one. This is a great way of lining the eyes. Or you can line them this way which is taking a flat eyeliner brush, and this is by Trisha McAvoy, and I'm going to apply a black eyeshadow, which is carbon, and what I'm doing there, to my upper eyelash line, and I'm really just wiggling it right into the base of the lashes. It's really important you get to the base of the lash, because this is what makes the eye look dark and thick, as opposed to having that massive line of kind of eyeliner look, which isn't that subtle. Just wiggle it in to the base of the lashes and you'll instantly have darker lashes. All without mascara. Next we're just going to give the eyelashes a curl. This is a Shuamora one. This is I guess kind of a standard eyelash curler in the industry. Squeezing it and walking it up as I go along to avoid a very right angle curl. Next I'm applying Mascara X and I'm wiggling it at the base of the lashes to be a thickness and depth there and then I'm just brushing it up taking it horizontally to separate any lashes etc. <clears throat> now that completes the eye look but I'm going to just quickly walk through the other half side of the face that I've done. I'm going to apply a tiny bit of concealer just under the eye. Next I'm going to apply a little bit of foundation and this is the Shuamora Norbra foundation so I'm just applying that to my face. Okay, so that's all done. Next I'm going to apply Bobbi Brown Medium Bronzer to the outer perimeter of my face. So all the areas you're just seeing here, this is what I want slightly darker. I'm now going to apply a tiny bit of Peony Pink Blush to the cheekbone area and this will complete the look. And I hope you liked it and um, I hope you kind of learned something from it. And thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.